Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I kind of want to say happy 4th of July because today is 4th of July, but you're probably seeing this July 5th if I'm correct. So I hope you had a happy 4th of July yesterday. And also for the new users, if you don't know, we are trying to reach 30,000 subscribers by the end of this year, December 31st, 2021. So if you could be a darling and help us out by hitting that like button and hitting that subscribe button, yeah, I'd really, really appreciate it. Without further ado, enjoy the video. With that being said, today we have a mission. We have a mission today, okay? I'm gonna explain what that mission is. Today we are going to be attempting to, you know, fix the hood a little bit. We gotta fix a little bit, we gotta innovate, we gotta think like Jimmy Neutron and see how we can go ahead and solve this. Let me go ahead and address the issue really quick. I mean, you guys already probably know what I'm doing based on the video title, but let me show you guys. So it just, it just looks weird, it's like, I don't know. This front bumper had a vent. It has a mesh right here. It looks good. This had a mesh. I took it off because I had to install the oil cooler. So it no longer has a vent. But I mean, it looks decent because it has an oil cooler. So everything that has a hole here has kind of vents mesh. And it makes it look good. But it also kind of serves a purpose, you know, to stop some debris. But um, with that being said, this just looks naked. I'm not sure exactly why this didn't come with the mesh or even rain guards. Because I know you guys are curious. Like, what if it rains, bro? Are you just going to let the water go and side no i'm not gonna let that happen we are going to be installing a rain guard with that being said let's go take a trip out here to my backyard really quick to show you guys how my previous hood was uh, designed so this flappy thing you see here this was the rain guard to my previous hood as you guys can see this one has the rain guard installed so when the water goes in through these holes through the vents it redirects the water and it makes it go out there like here or here or something but it avoids the whole engine right now this hood is composed of just like bolts and then freaking rivets you guys see these rivets right here that were installed with the rivet gun so that's pretty much what we're gonna do similar to the hood not today that's for another video but for this video we do have to install these vents so this is the mesh here in my old g35 i mean it's just chicken wire not bad it's pretty simple these look like they were held on by these bendable freaking metal clips here that you can bend and just hold the freaking oh, fuck. so today we're going to be doing something similar I, I I took forever trying to search out for those metal bendable things. This, but anyways, guys, after some digging, we have acquired some materials. We have this black duct tape. I'll let you guys know what my plan here is. I bought some E6000. This is some super 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 good super glue. Here we go. And we did find these that you can bend very easy if you want a better way to do it and to be honest i should be doing it like this it should be a lot better you guys want to grab like a resin like freaking so you guys like how you make fiberglass and carbon fiber get this resin stuff this will really 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 make it hard and this 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 would be the optimal way to do it but i'm, I'm kind of praying on the super glue thing i heard it's good and we're gonna go just pray i guess this is how you open the hood okay these are all the steps that we have to make to open the hood and these are all the steps that I forgot to do to close my hood before it flew off. So that's just so you know. First we gotta unlock clip to the right, that's one clip. Clip left, that's two clips. Unlatch the hood. So that's unlatching the hood, that's three steps. Now we gotta actually unhook the freaking the hood. And there you have it. Four steps. All right, y'all. It's been over an hour. It takes a little bit of patience, but this is how we've been doing. It's not the best, cleanest job in the world, but it should work. We got our tape here, tape there, tape there, tape everywhere. And we got our four clips. We got our four clips there. We still need the front two ones. Still got to finish that, but it's getting hot in the garage. But yeah, let me show you guys the process. How many, how much money did you spend on fireworks? a lot better I'll tell you that first that first click there you go click that 
Click that. Bingo, bango. We give it a little quick wax, you know, wherever we freaking press down the hood so we get away from the fingerprints. Let's go ahead, a little quick wax. Bam, 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 bam. Little quick wax. Takes that right off. Leaves it smooth. And man, it leaves us in brand new condition. There you go. It adds a little something instead of them being naked. Now you can see the vents. You can see on this one. They're a little poor quality vents. They kind of just look like they're chicken wire vents. It kind of sucks. You can get a lot better ones out there, like quality ones. Uh, but I mean, it does for now. I've had them in my backyard. I was like, might as well just go ahead and install them. But yeah, there it is, folks. It's looking good, man. Hell yeah. So now without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and go over to my friends. He's throwing a barbecue for 4th of July. I'm gonna show you a little bit of fireworks, man. Hopefully they have some fireworks. And we're also gonna go ahead and show you some of the cars too. You already know the car crew is a whole car me within itself. So all right guys, we just arrived at the party location. We're gonna go ahead and see, I'm just gonna show you guys some fireworks. I'm pretty sure that's the only thing interesting gonna go on. Got a nice Q50 and the Honda of course, of course and Jinzil over there in the background. Like these calipers are almost the same color as mine, kind of. Yeah, this color. I, I think I have a color in mind already. I think I've chosen the color that I'm gonna go with. Damn. The Niz Bros. Sheesh. Just touch it, bro. Ceramic coating. Sheesh. Hey, well, when'd you put this in? Tomorrow's video, bro. I swear to God. I swear to God. Hey, let's swear. get the, Did you glue it on or? No, I put some clips. Press it. We're about to take a trip in his Miata. What color is this? Like an emerald green. Emerald green. Oh, all right, do it again. Sheesh. He's ready. This thing feels hella good. Make a three, make a three, make a three for the camera, make a bro. Three, are you slow, Genesis? Hey. Oh, 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 oh. Crap. Man. Hey, for the vlog, for the vlog. Oh, for the vlog. Oh, shit. Crap. Uh oh. Kobe. Crap. Man, from anywhere, right, right there, right there. We got form. That one guy that was playing easy. Yeah, like got this random guy here. What the hell? He's gonna teach me something. Oh, oh shit. You gonna make it finally? You gonna decide to make it or what? For the vlog. He's about to light up a firework with his 370Z Toon Flame Dragon Ball Z Nightmare 370Z coming at 3,000 pounds.
Anyways, guys, that was the end of today. Happy 4th of July. It was a freaking awesome day. It was a nice little freaking clip right there. Shot some flames and turned on a freaking firework. But anyway, the car is looking better than ever. Check this out. Look at the hood, the vents. The vents just, it makes the hood complete. It, it makes it so much better. Like, I don't know if you guys can agree, but the vents just look a lot better now. But with that being said, I'll catch you guys next video. Thank you guys so much for the support. We just crossed 23,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys for the love. You guys already know. Be safe. Love you guys. Thank you for the support. Be distinct. I'll catch you guys next video. Peace.